Hi. I'd like to stand in advance that this speech is over hip hop, so there's a good chance none of you will have any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> and that's okay, just pay attention. Now, rap is normally perceived as this violent, vulgar, and negative, and parents, while that is true, we used your paycheck to pay for Chief Keef's new album. <laughs> but as much as I love hip hop, I'm willing to admit that there's a great deal of negative people who represent that genre of music. Really, they just want to get our money, as stated in Young Thug's check. But there's a completely different side of it, a side that seems like they want to enlighten us. Now, rappers, just in, the, just in their words, have influence over this generation a great deal. An example of that would be Kendrick Lamar. Now, to any parents who have heard his stuff on the radio, while his language is excessive, he's actually trying to say some good stuff. Kendrick Lamar is from Compton, where the streets are filled with gang violence, murder, and poverty. But instead of trying to profit by glorifying this, he's actually trying to stop it. In his most recent album, The Pimp a Butterfly, <laughs> he talks about how gang violence can be stopped by love and respect. He believes this, is, this can stop all violence. Another example of a rapper who tries to enlighten us would be J. Cole, who is my favorite. J. Cole speaks on the mass black incarceration. One out of every three black men will see the inside of a prison in their lifetime. And this is talked about in his song, Cage Bird, claiming that this can be stopped by stopping the environment that black men have to live in, claiming that when they get out of prison, they're still in a cage. Now, it's not all bad because rap has a lot of good things to teach us. You see, recently, I finally figured out what I want to major in in college, like a month ago. <laughs> and I was supposed to know this, but I just, I didn't. And it only got pressured more with applying to college. So I really started thinking about professions that are just going to get me money. I could be a lawyer or a doctor. And while those are great things to be, and I appreciate all of them, like, that just sounds terrible. Like, I don't, that, no. <laughs> so then I started thinking about something that a famous rapper once said, more money, more problems. So I decided to major in graphic design because it's something this dead guy said. Another thing that rap has to offer us is confidence, or most commonly known by this generation is sauce. <laughs> to have sauce means that you have pride in yourself and everything that you do. But you don't want to have too much because then it becomes a problem. You see, there's an artist who has greatly influenced his generation, and he says, I've been broke, but I always have sauce. A man without sauce is lost. <laughs> but that same man <laughs> can get lost in the sauce. <laughs> we missed you, Gucci. Now, lastly, if you got nothing from that and you relate to none of this, you can at least get to follow your dreams. Because even I'm willing to admit that some of these rappers sound terrible. But they got my $5, though. Yo Gotti even said himself, I made a million dollars and I didn't go to college. Thank you. And I put Gucci Mane on the screen. <laughs>